guys, welcome to Algebra 1, Lesson 12. Here we go. So we are talking about symbols of inclusion as well as um, positives and negatives again. And a lot of this we've already talked about, so we're just kind of continuing to strengthen your skills in this area. So the first thing we're talking about are symbols of inclusion and um, orders of operations. So if you look at this problem, I have 6 plus 3 times 6 divided by, and it's kind of hard to see that that's a division symbol. Okay, we'll make these dots a little bigger. Divided by, yeah, it helps a little. Divided by two, minus six times two. We know from PEMDAS that we always do parentheses first, but we don't have any in this one. Then exponents, again, don't have any. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So multiplication and division, they come at the same time. You just go in order from left to right. So that means I just go in order this way with multiplication and division. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter too much um, what order you do it when you're doing it algebraically well, with addition and subtraction as well as multiplication and division. But to keep everything nice and organized and to keep you from getting lost, we just move from left to right. So 6 plus 3 times 6 divided by 2 minus 6 times 2. I start here with the 3 times 6, not the 6 plus 3, because this is my first multiplication. So I start with 3 times 6, I know is 18. Divided by 2, minus 6 times 2. I can go ahead and multiply 6 times 2, I know that's 12. So now I do my division, 18 divided by 2, that's 9. So I'm left with 6 plus 9, minus 12. And now I work from left to right. 6 plus 9 is 15, minus 12 is 3. And there you go. You have your answer as 3. Now if I wanted to use symbols of inclusion to make this a little bit clearer, this is what it would look like. I do my 3 times 6 before I do my division because it came first. So I put this on top in my numerator in parentheses. I could leave out the parentheses when it's in the numerator, but this just makes it even clearer. Divide it by 2, because that comes next. And then I have minus 6 times 2 in parentheses, because parentheses always say do me first. But we know from PEMDAS that we always do that first. So I would do the same thing. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I end up with 6 plus 9 minus 12 which I already know what that gives me. So there you go. All right, now let's talk about your uh, negatives and positives. When you have an even number of negative numbers, okay, an even number of negative numbers that you are multiplying or dividing. So an even number of negative numbers that are being multiplied or divided, then your answer is going to be positive. If you have an odd number of negative numbers being multiplied or divided, your answer will be negative. So here I have negative four, or the, op the negative of negative of negative four. So the opposite of the opposite of the opposite of four. I have how many negative signs? Count them. One, two, three. Is that an even or an odd number? It's an odd number. So that means that my answer is a negative and we just keep that number because we're doing anything to it. Four. So that's what, you, uh, that's what your answer would look like. All right, let's look at this one. I have four times negative three times negative two times negative four times 11. I have two positive numbers and three negative numbers. The amount of positive numbers doesn't matter because it doesn't affect my answer. But my negative numbers does. Now I do have my answer already down here, 1,056. But I want to determine if this should be a positive answer or a negative answer. So I count my negatives. One, two, three. That's an odd number. So my answer is a negative 1,056. Okay, let's look at these problems. We're going to decide if they should be positive or negative. Negative four times negative three times two plus five, or times a positive five times a positive six, not plus, sorry. Times a positive five times a positive six. That's what that plus sign is there for. You do not have to write that plus sign. I was just 
following what the book does. I would prefer not to write the plus sign because it gets confusing. Okay, so I want to know if this answer to this problem will be positive or negative. So all I have to do is count my negative signs. One, two. Two negative signs. Is that positive, or excuse me, is that um, even or odd? It's an even number of, pod, of negatives. So my answer will be positive, positive. So the reason that it's positive is because I have an even number of negative numbers. Let's go to the next one. Positive three, positive two, positive six. Did I say in the last one that I have an even number of positive numbers or negative numbers? I have an even number of negative numbers. So the answer is positive. I don't remember what I said. Anyway, positive two, positive three, positive six. Do I have any negatives? No, so my answer is automatically going to be positive because there aren't even any negatives in my problem. How about this one? Negative three, negative two, positive six, positive four, negative two. I have one, two, three negatives. You're right, it'll be negative because I have an odd number of negatives. How about this one? Negative three, negative four, negative two, plus three times negative two. This one's a little bit of a trick question. This one you don't know yet. The rule doesn't really apply because you have to add to um, find your final answer. So in the whole thing, it doesn't apply. Here, your answer will definitely be negative because you have an odd number of negatives. And here it'll be negative because you have an odd number of negatives. All right, look at this one. Negative three, negative four, negative two. I have three negatives. That's odd, right? So your answer will be negative. Positive two, negative three. One negative number, so that means your answer will be negative. All right, I have negative three, four, and two. You still only count the negative signs. There's a negative right here. Minus two times three. So here I have a negative um, answer. There's only one negative sign, so that's an odd number, so it's negative. Minus, that's like adding a negative. So whenever you do that, you know that your answer is going to be negative because you start with a negative, you end with a negative. So your answer is negative. Okay, open up your book to page 68 if you haven't done so already and do your practice. Okay, you should be back from your practice. Letter A is positive 36 because you have four negative signs. Letter B is positive 48 because you only have two negative signs. Letter C asks if the following product is a positive or negative number, tells you not to multiply, you don't have to write that answer, but you do need to give the reason. So I hope you wrote down a reason. If you did not write down a reason why it was positive or negative, write that down right now. I will be looking. So you better not write exactly what I said. Okay. So, is it positive or is it negative? It's negative, right? Why is it negative? It's negative because there are an odd number of negative numbers. There are seven negative numbers, and that's an odd number. Okay, uh, letter D would be a negative three because you have three negative signs, that's odd. E would be a positive two because you have four negative signs and that's even. Okay? Alrighty. So there you have it. That's lesson 12. Go ahead and get started on your problems.